everyone, it's me, the Otaku Tiger, here to talk about episode 5 of Attack on Titan season, the final season, and, uh, wow, okay, previous episode I actually didn't do a video on, so I'll also talk about that, previous episode, there was fun sort of stuff that happened, that one was like, yeah, okay, this exists, cool, it was a big old setup episode, what happens in this one, as you know, Aaron, and also if you'd like to support me and support the channel, there's a Patreon, link in the description, and each you donate to, it gets you access to my Discord server, and it's gotcha really it meets Reiner again, and oh, wow, that uh, conversation went as well as I thought it would. I was like, first I thought, okay, they're gonna have a chill conversation, right? Nothing bad gonna happen, and then the end of the episode happens, and I'm like, okay, here we go, let's go, oh boy, all right. Previous episode was great, enjoyed that episode. This one, though, I thought we were going somewhere with this, and then it kind of flipped it on its head. I thought we were kind of, okay. So they revealed that the king of the walls was actually the one who did the stuff and the things. I'm like, wait, so this has all been lies and betrayal and wow, y'all fabricated history. Okay, just a little bit. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, sounds about right. You know, sounds about right. Cause I'm sure there's things in our own history that's probably a little bit fabricated. So I'm not surprised, but anyway, <laughs> I was like, wow, that's uh, that's such a very interesting. And the dude who was telling the story or whatever you doing, you know, I was like, He's gonna die, right? Like, I felt it. I was like, he's gonna die. He's either gonna get shot in the head or something. He died. <laughs> Unless he is the Warhammer Titan. I don't know if he is. He could be, but I don't know, you know? I have this sneaking suspicion that he is, but I don't know. Manga readers, don't spoil me. Thank you, because I probably won't read many comments on this video anyway, but... <sighs> okay, so... Aaron and Reiner's talk. That was very interesting. I was like, wow. Also, Aaron finally regenerated his leg. I'm like, thank you. It took you forever. I'm like, come on, bruh. Oh, jeez. But, and uh, Falco was there to hear that entire conversation. Oh, boy. So, Aaron has definitely been sending letters to his allies, aka Mikasa, Armin, uh, Levi, all of the gang, I'm sure. That, I, I was like, he's gotta be. You know, that was kind of obvious. So, that wasn't really that big of a surprise. Aaron going Titan form at the end of the episode, though. Oh boy, here we go. This is when we get into the action scenes. I, oh, now CGI Aaron Titan. He doesn't look that bad. You can tell it's CGI, but it didn't look that bad, so that's okay. <sighs> Bruh, I knew because either that dude is dead, or he's the Warhammer Titan. Because like he was being flung into the air and everything. Ah, like, oh, I knew he's gonna die. But then back of my brain was like, but he could be the Warhammer Titan. But we don't know for sure yet. But that little smile that Aaron gave off in this episode, I was like, stop. Stop being attractive, Aaron. Oh, quit it. <laughs> but I know in the trailer that he, Aaron has like a, a fucking six, more than a six pack. He's got abs for days. <laughs> oh, but jeez. But I'll tell you what, this, uh, this is going to get interesting now because now that he's gone Titan form, <laughs> this is, this is going to... Lots of people may be in for death, but let me tell you that. Lots of people might be dying very soon. I'm scared. I hope that goes okay. Because the Lord Light Reiner tried to protect him. And he is the Armored Titan, so... Hopefully... He did, and Falco's okay. I mean, I don't... I, it's not like I care about Falco dying or not. I could care less, technically. But... I hope that he's not dead. <laughs> I hope that he's not. They, they, they've already captured two of the titans. The, um, the what's her name? Peak. Uh, she's the, the carriage titan or whatever. And then I don't know the other dudes. I don't know. Whatever. So they're currently trapped in their situation. So they can't come and help. So Aaron versus the Warhammer Titan. Let's go <laughs> next week. Man, that's going to be exciting. I'm hyped as fuck for that. But I'll tell you that... It's so interesting that the, the whole backstory that they gave in this episode, basically of what happened and everything, that was so interesting. It, that the king, you know, that, oh, gosh, that I, I was so intrigued. I was so enthralled by that. I'm like, this is so interesting right now. Like, don't stop talking. I want to keep listening to this dude talk about what what's really going on, you know? So, but what the freak is the rumbling that Aaron can apparently do? What is that? Like, can it just, like, 
make Titans join his side and uh, what, the, what is the rumbling? What does that mean? What? Nani? What? What? what, what? <laughs> I don't know, but I thought Aaron was here to maybe make peace because he said I've slept under the same roof as my enemy and I get it now. There, There's some people who piss me off, but there's people who make me, you know, understand because the whole thing about the Tackle Titan is that all of them are human unless you have Titan powers, but even then you're still human. The thing, they are all human. They are all human beings, yet they are thrown into these wars because of different things, different reasons. And it says a lot about humanity that way. You know, that says a lot. You know, we might all be human, but that doesn't mean we all have to get along, which is kind of a true fact, you know, of life is that, yes, we might be human. Yes, we might have different ideals. And that is kind of a fact of life is that all humans may be of the same skin like like you know we all have skin we all have blood we all have bones all that stuff but we have different mindsets we have different ideologies all of that stuff and sometimes that creates a rift that creates a war that creates differences but that's what makes us all human so it's very interesting that just that that's what runs through my brain during that part i was like yep i can see where they're going with these ideologies and all this stuff i can see where we're going with this Huh. Also, it was interesting to see Lee, uh, Annie's dad. <laughs> uh, at least I think that's her dad, so that was interesting. Where is- is Annie still in the crystal? I guess she is. Is she ever getting out of there? Like, is she just gonna chill in there for the rest of her life that she has? I- I- fuck is that now? <laughs> I mean, she's just gonna chill in Paradise Island in the crystal, like, Pog? I don't know. <laughs> okay, Annie, you do that, but... It's gonna, it's the next episode. I'm so excited. I am so excited for the next episode because I bet you next episode is when we're gonna get to see all our characters coming in, you know, Levi, Armin, Mikasa, because war has started. This is a war. This, this has become a war zone now. This straight up war. <laughs> a war has begun just by Eren easily doing that, that he's begun the war. The war is in full swing now. It's happening. Oh boy. <laughs> It's gonna get it's gonna get interesting. I'm gonna I feel like it's gonna get so interesting from here on out. Also the Attack on Titan manga is ending in April. So that's interesting. So January, February, March, April. So four more months or so. So hopefully the anime like cause like this is gonna be sixteen or fifteen episodes, I think. So they have to adapt the chapters that are currently out, and then once the manga finishes in April, they'll pick it back up and finish it off, I guess. I guess that's their plan. Cause I feel like the mangaka has talked to them like hey i'm gonna end it now so y'all do this and like they've like you know talked to each other and they've gotten the plan together for the anime and y you know what i mean so hopefully they do that i hope but manga readers how did this episode hold up considering how like to the manga like did they do it everything did they adapt everything correctly no spoilers but was everything adapted mostly correctly that's all i want to ask but what are you guys? Are you excited for this episode? I know I am, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Alright, I'll see you guys in another Let's Play video. I do next videos, okay? Bye!